Now what? I use this term as one of the coaching sessions that was scheduled immediately yesterday on September 20th, sent in in the text box of what they wanted to discuss was LOL, now what? As we all know, yesterday, September 20th, broad markets were down about 1.7%. Well, that was from the opening to the close, but they were down as much as 3% with the news that came out yesterday morning. Global fears of the ever grand Chinese company, some refer to it as the quote unquote US Lehman Brothers, but defaulting on $300 billion in debt that is owned. Well, was that it? Was that the only reason? Well, we still have got a sluggish economy due to COVID and the Delta variant. We've got the Fed meetings today and tomorrow where we're going to get some hopeful insight as to the tapering of asset buying, potential changes in interest rates and more. In a week or so, we've got the vote on the U.S. debt ceiling. If it's not increased, well, we might not be paying certain things come October. Plus, there's other events coming up. Does that mean it's time to panic? Or does it mean now is a good time to buy? Is it time to hedge with all these events going on? Or is it time to lighten up the load, go mostly into cash, and wait it out? Well, as we see today after yesterday's theatrics, the broad indicators are up about 0.5%. This was around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Gained back about a third of the total decline yesterday. Volatility ETFs and market indicators, the VIX, UVXY, VXX, have pulled back. Now, they were up about 24%, 23% yesterday. Today, they're down about 9 or 10%, but of course, they're always fluctuating with the market changes. So now what? Now, let's discuss the other issues. This ever-grand issue, is it just a one-off, or is the fear that other companies similar to that across the globe, not just in China, may have the same effect and may have the same potential defaults. A lot of economies are sluggish to recover right now. We see a lot of help wanted signs. We see a lot of slowing in consumer confidence and much more. We've got the Fed meetings today and tomorrow. We're keeping an eye out on what they're going to do with the asset purchases, the tapering of the asset purchases, and of course what they might do with interest rates. As we all know, those of us that have been going to the grocery stores, going to the gas pumps, the cost of living is up. There's a big fear of continued inflation going forward. The U.S. debt ceiling, well, they need to vote on that one way or the other, playing some politics right now. But again, if it's not increased, we might see some hesitation and some missed payments and maybe some other things going into October. And let's not forget, we're starting off with the earnings coming up in October with some big companies reporting in mid to late October as is it time to panic? What we saw yesterday, we're looking at the SPY five-day chart over here on the right. We saw that drop. And we saw the bottom out at about 428 or so. And then sort of moved back up towards the end of the day. and gave us some reasonable increase in the last hour. And then we saw the movement today back up a little bit in the early parts. The VIX, of course, spiked extremely high. That gain of 24% from where it was around 21 up to a high of almost 28 and came back down to about 25. It lowered today, but spiked back up to 25, around 11, 12 noon Eastern time. And then it kind of tapered off a little bit, but it's still bouncing around. It's not necessarily a time to panic, but it is time to evaluate your portfolio and see what's going on. Now, is it time to buy? Is it time to jump on this dip and go into new positions? Well, the market sentiment indicator on power options did go to a light buy after yesterday's movements. But you might want to wait a day or two. I held off on opening my new bull put credit spreads on the Monday cycle for the next 11 to 14 days out in time, and I didn't enter any today either. I'm going to wait a day or two. Now, the market sentiment was correct. If you had entered positions at the end of Monday, September 20th, or first thing this morning for slightly bullish moves. As we can see, the market is tapering off and tapered off through mid-afternoon through about 2.45. So some of those bullish positions that might have been entered at the end of the day yesterday with the dip, or at this morning's jump, unless you were able to close out early, you might not see profits right now. You might be taking some extra losses trying to play the swings. Is it time to hedge? Well, you know me. It's always a good time to hedge. VIX calls as a broad market hedge. 
broad portfolio hedge might be too expensive right now. Hmm. The volatility on the VIX options are a little bit too high. Might want to look more to broad market puts or shares of volatility securities such as UVXY and VXX if you're fearful of more declines, more market volatility, and more downward trends. You can still protect profits on stocks that are up. You might have been up 8, 9, 10% on Monday and only up 4, 5% today. Well, you can still lock in some of those gains using the insurance tool on power options to find the best put to secure those positions or have a small risk on the position. If you're in bullish spreads, calendar call spreads, bull call debit spreads, bull put credit spreads that took a hit, you might want to consider rolling or adjusting the troubled spread positions. Or you might want to close those taking too big of a loss, 50, 60% or so, rather than try to manage those positions if you fear that more volatility is in the market and those could turn to 70, 80, or 90% losses of the max risk of the spread position. If you are concerned about further shock waves, maybe lighten up the load. Close some of those profitable positions or close some of the losing positions for those small losses now. Wait for a better opportunity. Exit the riskier positions if you're concerned about more volatility in the market. Evaluate your total portfolio risk if there is another sudden volatile move, another sudden downward trend, because you want to be able to protect your value for the coming months and going into winter. Is it time to go all cash? Well, if you followed some of our ideas before, if your positions have proper position sizing, which we always emphasize in any position, whether it's a covered call, naked put, spread position, buying calls or buying puts, your core holdings are protected, either direct protection for the married put ideas we teach at Radioactive Trading and in the Blueprint, or through portfolio insurance with hedges, long-term puts maybe on SPX, SPY, or QQQ, or other hedges. And if you're not forcing new positions with the different swings going in the market, trying to time the market too much, or trying to make every move with a sudden decline and a sudden pop, and you're not over trading, you're looking pretty good. You're in a good place and in a good position. If we are worried about the outcomes of those upcoming events in the near future, again, maybe consider lightening on your positions. Hold off on new trades for a day or two until you get a better sentiment of the going forward market trend. Protect what you haven't yet in your portfolio, whether it's a section of a strategy, in other words, buying puts on SPY or QQQ to hedge a spread portion of your portfolio or protect long core holdings directly using put options, use the insurance tool to help you find the best ones. So what now? The next steps. Evaluate your portfolio and exposure. What positions were hurt the most with yesterday's decline? What positions could lose further and cause you losses that you're not willing to take? Analyze your individual underlying securities, not just your stock holdings, not just your covered calls, but the underlying positions that might be for credit spreads, for debit spreads, for call buying that you have. Look at the position new. Would you open your current position now based on the current trend of those underlying stocks? The answer is no. You might want to consider adjusting, lightening up, or exiting that position now before further losses are taken. If positions did go to significant losses from Monday, take account. Can they take another hit if there's another sudden hiccup in the market? Is it better to lighten up on those losses now, even though you're realizing them, and wait for better opportunities to follow your trading plan to manage those positions going forward? Now, if you do feel this was an overreaction, adjust as needed, stay the course to your trading plan, but keep an eye out for the news on those other upcoming events, the Fed meeting, the debt ceiling, going into earnings, and others. And if you feel risk is still inherent with those upcoming events and market volatility will fluctuate consistently over the next week, two weeks, or three weeks, hedge your core holdings. Hold off on entering new trades until you have a better sentiment. Lighten up or adjust those ones that are losing to control further losses and control the risk on not only the individual positions, but the portfolio as a whole. And as always, how can power options help? Using our portfolio tools, you can track your positions, see your current liquidation to future expiration values, evaluate rollout opportunities, and more. 
the insurance tool, one of our signature tools and power options, you can see direct insurance for stock positions you might still have a gain in or help hedge from further losses going forward. Or use it as a tool to help evaluate portfolio assurance to simulate what the return would be on broad-based index or ETF put options. Of course, if you're looking to enter new trades or your sentiment has changed and now you're going from bullish to bearish, perhaps you're going from bearish to bullish now that the client has changed, use the search tool to find new positions that match your risk tolerance on your preferred strategies based on your new forward-looking sentiment. And of course, education. You can go through our webinars on the Power Options webinars page or check out our YouTube channel for videos such as stock or portfolio insurance, proper married put structure, don't roll for the sake of rolling, and many more. And of course, if you have direct questions or direct thoughts, we're always here to help you. Send us an email to support at powerop.com. You can call the office during market hours at 302-992-7971 or current trial members and subscribers. Remember, you can schedule a coaching session at any time. So again, now what? Take stock. Evaluate your sentiment going forward. Be aware of the future upcoming events. Hedge the positions that have not been hedged yet. Maybe lighten up on some of those trades if you're concerned about more volatility. Don't let some of the losses you might have that are unrealized right now go into losses that will take down your portfolio too much. And look forward to what's available next.